Good morning. It is morning time. It's morning. I'm here with Tia, my podcast co-host and the person who's letting me crash her kitchen, which feels amazing. And we've done a lot so far. We've painted walls, we've painted trim, we've painted and stenciled the backsplash, but today is cabinet day. We're painting the cabinet. So we are going to walk you through the process. <laughs> All that has happened so far is that Tia cleaned the cabinets last night with TSP and water and a scrub brush. That's it. It's not hard. It took you what? About an hour to do the whole yeah. kitchen? Okay. About an hour. We are going to demonstrate it on one cabinet for you. And then we'll walk you through all the other steps of how we are going to paint these cabinets. We're going to share with you the supplies we use. I'm going to do my best to try to make note of how long each step takes us. And I took the hardware off. Oh, and the hardware is all. I want to make sure all my hardware is documented. <laughs> <laughs> and that took... Not hinges, just pulls. We're not taking the hinges off. I will explain why later. This would not be an option in every kitchen, but we are going to work smarter, not harder in this kitchen. So that's it. That's your grand intro. Now we are just going to dive in and get to work. Here we go. All right. All right. TSP in the bucket. You follow the instructions. TSP. TSP. It's this. Here. We'll even show you. Yep. This the is what full it looks service. Like. You mix it according to what the package says. Yeah. Very simple. It's very it's very simple. I didn't mess it up. You won't mess it up. <laughs> and then I just let it, and you mix it in warm water so it dissolves. And then I just sort of give it a swishy swish. And then I have my little Ikea scrub brush, which are my favorite scrub brushes. <laughs> and then I actually just wipe the back because it was splattering everywhere and just... Scrub it, scrub it, scrub. Just scrub it. Scrub it like that. All like, over. And you don't even have to, like, go crazy. You shouldn't be sweating doing it, right? It's easy. I, I might have sweated a little bit. <laughs> and then I just wipe as I go so it doesn't slop all over my counters. And that was it. That's the whole easy. kitchen. Super simple. Took about an hour, right? There was a few little places I had to... Really good. But nothing, nothing intense. Nothing all too right. intense. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Tia's like, I hate you. I just want to, I'm, I'm just at the sander. We just want to show you how like truly quick and what a quick pass this is. All right, hit it. Ready? That's it. It's called a scuff sanding. Like yep. it is Already not hard work. You just want to scuff the surface. Okay, Instagram. Here we go. The painting is starting. It's beautiful brush. Okay, here we go. Look at how amazing the fusion mineral paint goes on. I cannot even handle it. So it's happening. Tia scuff sanding like a boss. And yeah, we're doing it. Bye. Okay, y'all. I wanted to explain a few things because you'll notice we are painting with the cabinet doors on. Um, so I, we're doing the same thing I did in my kitchen. The frame, the face frames, I think that's what they're called. <laughs> we are painting those. We are painting the insides of the doors. We are not painting the inside of the cabinets, hence... We are not removing anything. Yes, T has a lot of mugs. <laughs> also, can I just warn everyone, don't put stickers, even if it is for animal control, poison control. Don't animal. do it. Don't do it. Look what PSA. happened. Get them off, guys. Ooh, we'll work on that in a minute. Yeah. Anyway, here's why we can leave her cabinet doors on. This is not for everyone. We had to take ours off. But her hinges are completely concealed. You can see only a tiny little nubbin of them. So we are going to paint the cabinets and then we're going to come back with a little tiny brush at the end to paint around the hinges. So it's just saving us time. We're working. What are we doing, Tia? Working. What's our motto? Smarter, not harder. Yes. Okay, y'all. Sorry. So you can see this. We're just painting around the hinges. It's still going to be way faster and easier than taking all these off the hinges because then you have to know which door goes where exactly. So this is working perfectly. Let me see this. this is a kid's paintbrush from my kid's paintbrush collection. <laughs> and it's working great. Yep. Just checking in, y'all. I thought it was a good time. I'm about to open the second thing of black. But you can see we have a first coat on all the black. Front and back of doors. This one has actually been double coated. Don't worry. 
it goes back here. <laughs> I'm only painting with this brush. This is, this is like when you give a toddler a tiny brush and you're like, you can paint with this because you know you're not going to do a lot of damage. That's, that's me. I'm the toddler in this situation. So is doing around the hinges and then little detail work like that. I think she feels a little bitter. No. 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 I'm actually glad. It's just less pressure. I feel like this is your, this is a, this is, this is your gift. My, Tiny detail work. It's my one shining moment. <laughs> okay, so you can see first coat, second coat. Second coat coverage is amazing. It's wet, which is why it looks patchy. It's, it's always hard to get the lighting. There we go. That looks better. I ignore the sound of chainsaw. Yeah, T is having some tree work done today. It's fine. It's all happening. Anyway, so we're starting to second coat the black. It's, it's happening. Feeling good. Okay, I wanna walk y'all through this step. So Tia's refrigerator has wood panels on it. We painted those the exact same way as the cabinets. But this mm. part back here is basically laminate. I mean, that's what the material, it's not wood, I'll tell you that. And it's real slippery. So I am going to paint on this Fusion Mineral Paint Ultra Grip, and it will have to dry 12 hours before we can paint all the kind of like not real wood pieces. How we doing to you? We're doing. I'm losing <laughs> steam. <laughs> well, well, well. We are done painting the cabinets. Um, we got most of the cabinets painted and double coated in one day, but we did have some additional double coating to do today. And now we are ready to top coat. So let's talk about the top coat because this is what everyone has been asking me on Instagram. You do have to seal this paint if you want it to really be durable. So for the black cabinets, we're using the Fusion Paint Stain and Finishing Oil, okay? And this is like, we're using the natural, so it, it won't add any color to it. This is what you would use on wood if you wanted it to just enhance the wood tones but not change the color. For the white uppers, we're using Fusion Mineral Paint. It's called their Tough Coat, and that's actually a wipe on. So I'm gonna brush this on the black. Tia is gonna wipe the tough coat on the white. This is getting confusing. <laughs> this is like who's on first. The reason Tia just asked me this, why aren't we using the tough coat on the black? It's because it won't add any color to the white, but Fusion Mineral Paint advised me that it might leave a bit of a, like a milky film on the black. So that's why they recommend this oil for their darker colors. So that's it, that's what we're doing now. This is the last step in finishing the cabinets. Praise the Lord. All right, here we go. <laughs> so this is how Tia's cabinets turned out after only two days of work. That's right, we got them painted and top coated in two days, which is incredible. They turned out beautifully. It's now six months later. They are holding up perfectly. The lessons that I learned and the tips I have for you are pretty simple. One, leave your doors hanging if at all possible. So even if you don't have hidden hinges like Tia did and your hinges are visible, if you don't want to change the color of your hinges, I would just use a small paintbrush to paint around them. The other big lesson I learned is that if we could go back in time, I would have used the hemp oil to top coat the black cabinets. We used the, um, I think it was called their stain and finishing oil, which should have worked fine, but we didn't quite read the instructions. And so we, we didn't wipe it off after the designated amount of time. And so it looked a little streaky. And what we wound up doing is I did another quick coat of black paint to cover the streaks. And then we sealed them with the hemp oil, which was faster and easier. And I just wish we had done that out of the gate. So that is the big lesson learned. Um, again, it's six months after the fact. They are a busy family who uses their cabinets and does not baby them in any way, shape or form. And everything is holding up perfectly. So I hope that is helpful. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want 
to check out more of Tia's kitchen makeover, I have linked to the related blog posts in the description below, including the tutorial for how we painted and stenciled her backsplash. And if you would like to become a VIP member of the Kaleidoscope Living community for free, just go to kaleidoscopeliving.com slash subscribe. When you subscribe, you'll get immediate access to our entire free subscriber hub that is full of good stuff. Thanks so much. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to be notified when new videos are available. Bye.